you guys welcome back. Today I'll be making Sankhya Fak Tong, a kabocha squash filled with a coconut custard. This is the kabocha squash. It looks a lot like a green version of the western pumpkin, right? No, I'm not making a jack-o'-lantern today, but we'll need to remove the seeds. So I guess it starts out the same way. This guy here was already rinsed, but I'd like to give it a couple more rinses just for good measure. Let's make the custard. We'll need palm sugar, coconut milk, pandan leaves, salt, and eggs. I try really hard to bring up memories of my grandma from when I was young. And the clearest ones are of her sitting on the old wooden floor preparing some type of delicious dessert. It's funny that I don't remember any of her cooking other than the desserts that she made. And she's made all sorts of desserts certainly a queen of sweets. And this kabocha squash dessert was one of the things that she would make in rotation as the kabocha squash would come into season in her lush garden of vegetables and fruits. I'll make this occasionally and it reminds me of her. Wrapping this with aluminum foil will provide some support to the kabocha squash to prevent it from cracking as it begins to soften during the steaming process. Since I don't have a steamer big enough to house this dessert, I had to be creative. A bamboo skewer can help determine if the custard is cooked. If it comes out clean, it's done. Let this cool down completely before cutting. This is so important. It's even better to let it sit overnight in the fridge. That way the custard can set completely and meld onto the flesh of the kabocha squash.
Here we have it, Sankhya Phak Thong. It's simple, delicious, and fun to eat. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it, and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps out so much. I'll see you in the next video. Be safe, everyone.